All right, uh, we're here in round one with their uh, Arnold Ultimatums deck. I'm playing as Briar Moss, who I played before with this deck, and kind of funny. <laughs> he's um, he's actually the real Cruel Ultimatum Master. He's probably playing Cruel Ultimatum, his own version with the uh, Void spells and things or whatever. So it'll be a funny matchup. Uh, I can keep this hand. It's kind of a two lander, but um, I anticipate to kind of start smoothing out my draws. Yeah, he's probably playing Cruel to meet him, so this will be a funny mirror, not mirror match, but Cruel to meet a mirror, sort of. So I have a lot of dead cards. Um, Slidestorm's not particularly good against anything he's got. I don't really have, like, artifact removal. He does look up to one lander. I'm gonna play this. I actually probably shouldn't have played that. You probably have the Wildlander with a bunch of like Stignets. Oh. Not good. No good. Okay, okay, so he's playing the cruel his cruel to me version. So I want to end this game quickly since he like stumbled, so I'm just gonna start doming him. First I'm gonna anticipate, then I'm gonna probably just slag storm people. Actually, I'm going to research. I want this land, actually, so I need to bin two cards. Probably going to be like Slag Storm, Aether Spouts. There. A little unfortunate, I don't like uh, starting this match like this, but what happens if you have a keep greedy keep? I don't know if you mulligan. Actually, I didn't even notice if you mulligan. Oh, you kept a seven. I think mulligans are really important. Um, the first mulligan is almost free, especially with Scry. But yeah, here, here's the combo. Wildfire Eternal, Cruel Tame in my hand. Once that starts going, it's and be over. <laughs> Punish for greed, he says. Yep. It's true. Sc scr like, mulliganing is like so free. The first mulligan is like super free. Because the scry one is basically like, it's almost a card. It's like half a card, but. So free. He sees the writing on the wall. He's played this death. He's played against me before, so he knows what's gonna happen. Okay. Um. So I like. I don't like slag storms in this matchup for sure. I don't mind chain lightning. It's not terrible, but I'll probably end up cutting it. I don't like either spouts. I like douse. Actually, I like kind of like douse against his own cruel tomatoes. I don't have like a ton of like other counter magic. Which I kind of like skimped on because I, I figured like, and actually I don't figure, I know. <laughs> I know there's more of like an aggro, aggro meta going on, so. I actually want Displacement Wave to bounce like a bunch of Signets. This wave's like not really terrible. I would... It doesn't like deal with anything of mine, so. <laughs> I if I sound cold, like I am cold. Uh, it's cold for me, for Florida weather. <laughs> Okay, I can play a couple of these. I'm not sure how good they'll be. He does play a ton of like different permanents, so might be okay, or it could be terrible. The douse is generally for red decks, but I mean, he does play red spells. Keep this hand. Very mulligan. All right. Like breakthrough line kind of gets through under all this stuff. Oh, it's going to five. Now he's just super, super going the other way. Oh, it's going to four. No, no, not like this. Not like this. 
I don't know. I've been beaten with four card hands before, so. Especially if I, okay, I was like, especially if I don't draw lands. We'll get a turn five here. I'm gonna play the island next. I'm supposed to say another island. True. The mana base is just so split down the middle. It's so hard to like get certain colors at certain times. I, I felt like it was the best thing to do. Harold. I'm gonna start jamming these wildfire eternals into all the counter spells. He only has three cards in his hand, so if he has double spell shrivel then so like one card left, yeah, I'm just gonna jam. They have to basically draw perfect from here on out. If he has a one counter spell, he basically has to draw perfect from here. And I need a removal spell for this. Otherwise, the ultimatuming, the ultimatums is gonna happen. Gone missing. Okay. Well, I won't draw the untapped land, unfortunately. Gone missing. It's not really good against breakthrough line. I always laugh at this card being bad, but now it is bad. <laughs> it actually is bad. Okay, tough spot. He mulled in the four and facing down an unblockable wildfire eternal with breakthrough line. My one of, my fun of. But well, this is a situation where it's really good. It's really bad on like multiples, but I don't know. I should probably be playing too. Alright, let's hope he doesn't have like Aether Spouts or something, because I'm going to go for like Super Greed. I, and I drew the land there, so well, both of the guys are unblockable. <laughs> This for the super, I am totally gonna get Ada spouted out of this game. We'll see. Okay. Cruel to be number one. It's funny if you don't have the first cruel, sometimes the first cruel can draw into the second one. He's on cruel to be him. Cruel to be number two. <laughs> Right. Probably instead of like casting this, I'm just gonna play this and attack. And chain this and see what I can do. Okay, he's so just trying to draw out of this. If I draw it, is it Cronarch? It probably, it's probably just Gate. Yeah. I what I was gonna draw here. Counterflux. Okay, but I wasn't gonna get very much. I actually would have chained. I thought I would have started chaining researches. Pretty unfortunate. The no mulligan into super mulligan. But you know, we, I'm gonna take those. 